Hey everybody, I'm going to share with you how I'm going to install my 4 inch flywheels um, tire from Spot On RC. So I've tried to push this on with my bare hands and uh, man, I just keep fighting it. It's really hard. I tried soapy water, tried um, heating it up and uh, you know, like I can see I even took a little chunk out of there. So, I had a solution. Over the years, I've installed lots of O-rings, uh, being an aircraft mechanic. And uh, they make these little um, kind of tapered sleeves that uh, you can just slip your O-ring on, and it'll just slide right into your groove. So, I thought, you know, this is basically the same thing, just a little bit bigger. So, I designed this, and uh, yeah, this snaps onto the uh, hub here. And the, the rim on the inside and this ramp goes flush it starts at the tire diameter and then ends up at the rim diameter here so yeah I'll show you it's pretty cool works great metal tire just cutting it There it is. You know, just uh, nothing to it, really. And it's starting to split in the middle in some spots. This tire's not as bad. I actually replaced the other one. It was really bad. Okay. So, now that we got this all off, I'm going to get my trusty little tool I made. It took about five hours to print. 15% infill. So, yeah, this will just snap onto there oh yeah i love that now other tire we're gonna slip it on like this kind of working around the edges And that, my friends, that's how you do it. Nice and easy. I posted on Thingiverse, look up AK Nick. You'll find this file for this guy. Um, I made it a little bit shorter down here and uh, actually uh, changed the dimensions ever so slightly and different letters and fun stuff. But anyways, yeah, it's really super handy. Um, like I said, there's no, nothing that's really uh, elaborate about this other than getting your dimensions here. So your, your hub, that was like 12 millimeters. This is like 62, I think this was 75 maybe millimeters. And then the inside diameter of this guy, which I can't remember. But anyways, so yeah, I just kind of started it so that you, uh, the tire will slide on there's no ramp here so you can just kind of put it on and then it's just a gradual increase here so it was casted in in, uh, in CAD so basically it I went from this dimension to this dimension and blended it so a nice smooth easy transition and then I uh, pulled the uh, the seams, like, I don't know, 100 millimeter radius or something like that, but just nothing technical, just kind of made it nice and boop, smooth. So anyways, hope you like that, and uh, yeah, you can make this for any any size. You can make this out of uh, wood if you wanted to. Just drill a center hole and uh, get your outer diameter right. And uh, yeah, just sand down a little ramp, a little cone. So this is Looks technical and fancy, but really it's quite simple. All right, hope you enjoyed.